I, I wonder how you found each other to, to do this. Good question. <laughs> did, uh, yeah, did you? I haven't uh, thought of that actually. Yeah. It's I not think like that's really uh, come from the producer uh, Judith Dupool. Uh, I think yeah, it was her idea to to put us together and uh, see what happened. <laughs> did you find? Him, <laughs> did you find him as macho as he's made out to be? Oh, know? absolutely. Did you? <laughs> What all particularly? These, uh, <laughs> all these different guises, especially when he was wearing the, the tux or the, the hair slick back. Oh, there was just no holding him. <laughs> yeah. No, with greasy hair like that, no. <laughs> Yes, no, I mean, I, I had a lot of fun, and I, I'd love to go on and do some more, you know. Um, I think Judith wants to do another series of them. Yeah. I don't know if Elaine's going to be available, but it'd be great. We had a fantastic time. Well, we're dying to see it. It's on Bank Holiday Monday, isn't it? 9 what? p.m. Yes. 9 p.m. Mm. 9 p.m. <laughs> Bank Holiday Monday. We'll come back and talk to you about lots more. Yeah, so like the dancing. I want to hear about him dancing as well. Frank's desperate to know <laughs> about you. And your... I must hear him sing and dance. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Sport, please. Great night last night. Absolutely. I was in bed, didn't see the two <laughs> goals, but terrific. We've got to move it later, actually. You have. Good. Very good. We start with snooker. Terrific snooker game. I like to have about the. I really uh, don't know about Elaine that. Elaine Page has just broken the fall. I've so just ruined the whole thing. Very <laughs> yeah. well, you haven't broken the fall. No, no. But you see, that's, that's absolutely amazing. Oh! Frank Bath has now broken that. Anybody else have broken that? There we are. Look at that. Uh, that's ridiculous, isn't yeah. it? Can you reach it? Uh, well, look. Yes, it is. Let's try uh, a piece. Yes. Can you read it? Yes. Nice. Yes, we will be trying next time. <laughs> clearly, the one on the end there is for Mother's Day. <laughs> Fine. Well, just before we leave that, it's also a very special... Oh, isn't it, really, if the RS... ...sizing like that? It's not the it's sort of thing they expect. Mm. Mind you, that's what actors are. <laughs> um, you've asked me to comment on it. I really can't think of an answer, uh, except that let's hope that the play is aptly named, you know. Yes. Uh, whatever's going on down there. Um, Americans are weird anyway, and uh, the critics are normally the ones to kill a show. Yes. And if they're pro and uh, the public in the street are pro. I just can't understand it. Yeah, but Elaine, the critics here have uh, praised the show to the skies, say it's a wonderful piece of yes, it's Shakespearean a, acting. It's most odd. Maybe it's something to do with the, the length of the performance or something, you know. I think uh, this can perhaps be having, having seen Nicholas Nickleby, <laughs> which, uh, yeah. although that was a wonderful uh, play, it was extraordinarily yeah. long. And I think possibly sometimes people think, oh, I, I don't know that, you know, I certainly felt that way when I went, went to see it. I thought, yeah. I don't know that I'm actually going to be able to sit through eight hours of, of something. But, uh, but you're in the area of, uh, of the business where it is very, very elusive uh, in, in the big musical productions because they're highly expensive to mount and if they work, they're fabulous, mm -hmm. uh, like Evita was. If they don't, uh, then a lot of money is lost. Very elusive to Well, find. I think it's important uh, uh, to advertise. I think it's important that people know that it's, something is going on. I yeah. mean... Uh, yeah. with anything. If you don't know about it, then people aren't, yeah. aren't going to go and yeah. see it. Can I ask you about the pair of you, an interesting thing that's something that's interests me. As our guests come into this program, um, they've all got one curious little hang-up in a way. That they're all, it's rather like, I say, Val Dunican was on, you see, and he's trying to get away from the sweaters and the, and the rocking chair bit. Yeah. Um, now, I know you're absolutely cheesed off with the, the macho image of, of Bowie <coughs> and so that's on. That's true, yeah. And you ought to do something else. <laughs> now, you'll be forever known as a Vita, won't you? Listen, I can do that too. <laughs> Well, that's it, you see, you do this that is it, yes. to, to deflect me from the subject. Now, what I want to tell you is this, that I think you were terrific uh, in Evita, and if I'd have created Bodhi and had such success all over the world, I'd be very proud of that. Why are you so embarrassed, really? I'm embarrassed, but want to get away from those two things. Well, I mean, if you are, I mean, Frank, if you were sort of hooked into a show and the audience, I'll take the silly hat off, <laughs> if the audience said to you, no, we want to see you, you do... You do want to be macho after all. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Go on. Yeah. If the audience said to you, we want to see you do a particular show, mm. I mean, you as a person or as a presenter or whatever you call yourself, uh, want to, to expand and, and try new things, you yes. know. I mean, I wasn't being funny there. And, uh, and particularly with actors, I mean, they like to think, I mean, trained actors like to think they can do everything Shakespeare yes. and so on, uh, which I've done. I've done classical work and so on. And, uh, you know, I don't want to go down one true. avenue. Yes, it's it's the old typecasting. But you won't shake off Bodhi, and you're certainly never going to shake off Evita, are you? Well, I don't know. You see this thing on Monday, maybe? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's a true. good try at it. Yeah. Um, <coughs> you know, I think it's that thing, as Lewis says, about, about being pigeon, pigeonholed into, yes. into things. One always wants to... Uh, try and broaden yes. horizons. Well, you mentioned this other thing on Monday, which uh, some people won't know about because they've just joined us since we last spoke about it. It's called A Night on the Town. It's on the television. And you're actually singing and dancing together. Lewis, I, didn't, mm. I mean, how, did you, do you dance? It's just not the kind of... No, I'm not a dancer. Um, <laughs> I'm... 
it's not that bad. Kept I move. move. You're a right? mover. I right? move. Yes. And I'm not a singer either, but I, I like to sing. Yes. And um, I just like fun, and it, it, that's what it is. Yeah. It's two hours of. If you enjoy sort of the Cole Porter Gershwin stuff, then yeah. it's definitely a switch on. Yes, lovely golden uh, oldies, are they? Mm. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. We'll see you a little later on. Yeah. I've just been trying to work out this clock. It's terribly difficult. It's now 12 minutes to 8. Is that right? I guess so. I guess so. I haven't got a very good track record in the matter, I hasten to add. <laughs> I think it is. Anyway, coming up in the next... Well, good morning to you. Good morning, Is there any significance in the uh, tartan tie? I know of no particularly Scottish anniversary today that I can think of. It's Brill, isn't it? It's actually from Dornoch in Sutherland, and it's the four graces. It's Ian Bess. Anyway, Gordon Gilman, who retires from... I just don't believe, I'm afraid. A, <laughs> a good friend of Debbie Rick's. Is that so? Do you know a Vera Twiglet of Acton? I do. She's a very thin woman. <laughs> Not a nice woman, nice woman. Not a common name. <laughs> Have you met Elaine Page and uh, Lewis Collins? I met Lewis Collins once at the Ideal Home Exhibition, and he was all in black, and I was all in black too, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, but no, Elaine, I haven't. Hello, Elaine. Yeah, Lovely hi. jumper. Thank you. Might have that for Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't match your tie. No. Yeah. We might actually talk a little bit about their long-term futures. I don't know whether you can contribute anything to this, because they've both been smash hits in their own particular area, you with Bodhi and you with Evita and other things. Um, what are you doing now? I mean, uh, there, there's talk of a film of Evita, tremendous competition. Will it take place? Will it be Minelli? Will it be Paige? I don't know. Will it be Streisand? What, what's the situation there? I don't know. I think it's all rather boring, really. I mean, it's going on and on <laughs> well, and on. it's not if you're watching. It's fascinating <laughs> if you're watching. Mm. I keep saying, if it, you know, if they take much longer deciding who's going to play it and if they're going to make it at all, I shall be too old and have to play her mother or something. <laughs> <laughs> play it with a stick. Mm. I don't know. I'm, I'm at present... Uh, in the studio recording a, a, an album. So that's keeping me quite busy at the moment. And what sort of music is that? Those are big show music songs, uh, are they? It, It's an album of theatre songs um, yeah. from sort of dating from 65 to date, yeah. which is sort of when I first embarked upon musical theatre, really. So that's uh, the theme of the album. And you're here with Lewis Collins because together you're in uh, a wonderful extravaganza where you're singing and dancing and uh, acting A Night on the Town on BBC television. Um, have you seen any of it? Friend? I haven't, no, other than the clip we've seen today. Oh, I see. And I'm afraid uh, I haven't actually... <laughs> <laughs> All I've seen you doing so far, I haven't seen you singing and I haven't seen you dancing. I've seen you very elegantly holding a cigar and a brandy. Is that most of your contribution to the epic? <laughs> no, she'll have to watch 9pm Monday. <laughs> yes, definitely. Lovely. But after that, what is going to happen to you? Because well, I know you're trying to shake off Bodhi and all that, and you have had a pedigree of acting before that that nobody, of course, ever remembers. Do you want to get back to that, to doing classics? And well, the only thing with doing classics, it normally entails you taking a long season of the theatre mm. and you sort of vanish out of people's minds, you know. I mean, the amount of people you can cover with a theatre show is... I mean, compared to one show of the professionals, it's 18 million viewers, yes. as you know. I mean, that's where you've got to stick. But I thought, I thought you wanted to get away from that a little bit. I mean, the theatre would mean that for you, wouldn't it? I mean, don't, you, you seem to be cheesed yeah. off with being in the public eye and being, uh, you know, driven that's up right. as this. You love well, it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I did pantomime. No, I would, I mean, I want to do those sort of things, of course, but, I mean, you have to stay, when the, when the ball's rolling, you have to mm. stay with it and keep mm. knocking it along, even though people are sort of typecasting you. I mean, I've got four films under consideration at the moment, but they are all action man type roles. Yeah. Um, so I've got into this singing thing, which is something I used to do. Mm. So I've gone right, you know, it's a complete circle. Yes. So I'm having a go at an LP as well, I haven't told her yet. <laughs> are you in, what sign are you in? Are you Aries? No, I'm Pisces. Are you? Yes. You don't look very fishy. So I, w I always have to wait to the, to the end of uh, the, the, the last of, bit. Yes. Oh, I mean, that's quite Heads good then, hatch, actually. You see. Oh, fishy. Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> terribly good. So what are you then? You're, are you an elk? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> this is my butch, the stag. You know, the, the butch, I mean. what, what, you're a Gemini, if I remember, weren't you? That's right, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not getting much help from my friends today, is that correct? No, I don't think Around you are, me. especially in that hat. <laughs> I, I don't think you stand a chance. Actually, Gemini is, going, is, is one of the signs that's going through <sighs> tremendous change. I mean, if you're going to change images and things, this is the time to do it, but there will be disruption too. So you may have problems. You may have problems, definitely, in that hat. <laughs> There's always a touch of disruption about your life, isn't there? I mean, you, you're, you're, you're such a positive person that uh, uh, there's always a dash of trouble around the corner somewhere for you. I say, Frank, it's strong, <laughs> isn't it? Well, it keeps everyone on the toes, and myself included. Yeah. I've got actually a very good job for you. There's, they want a new coat hanger at the Hilton, <laughs> and I think I think if you get an equity contract, you're in. Yeah. Well, thank you very, very much days. indeed for turning up today. And whatever the future holds in the next year, we hope uh, it will be uh, very happy for you indeed. And thank you very much indeed for coming. Thank you.